Hello, YouTube. Welcome to your Wednesday night. Thank you for joining us for your weekly Arcades Anonymous meeting where we talk about everything but uh, curing your problem of arcades. Because guess what? We're going to make you spend more money. Because I guarantee you that's what we love to do. Hope everybody's having a fantastic evening. we got a great show planned for you tonight. Just hanging out, talking about fighters with some great people and a special guest tonight. Uh, looking forward to a great show. Uh, everybody in the chat, welcome. If you're watching on replay, thank you for joining us. And uh, hit that like and subscribe for us as we uh, fire this show up. I'm going to bring in everybody in right now so we can get this party started. Let's see who we've got. Everybody, welcome. Welcome. Happy Wednesday to everybody. Moat, what an honor to have you on the Arcades Anonymous show. Thank you for joining us tonight, brother. Oh, oh, not a problem. Um, I'm just, I'm happy to be here. Yes, very happy to be here. <laughs> it's not, it's not a fighting show laugh? without you. It's not a fighting show without you. You can't, Correct. you can't go anywhere without having Moat. And, and you're talking about fighting. He better be in the chat or in the actual show. Period. End of discussion. So, appreciate you joining us, brother. We're really happy that you're here. Stock Jock. Hey. Glad you're here, brother. Glad you're joining us tonight. I'm filling in on a great night to, uh, with a great mode here with us. And uh, when Todd asked me to be on tonight to fill in, I said, I don't know a thing about fighters. So I'm a perfect <laughs> guy for the show. Yeah. Hey, you know what? doesn't matter. We love talking about that as well. So I'm just glad you're here, Stock Jock. Always glad to have you in the in the panel. Multicade Matt, how you doing, you, brother? I am golden. It was like... It's the opposite of the last couple of weeks. I actually got some sleep. Today was productive, productive at work, and I got to have dinner with my wife all before this. So yeah, this, is to, yeah, I'm, this is fantastic. Get to hang out, hang out with everybody. Man, and here we are. Man, you are full of energy today. I'm a yeah. I, man. I'm just yeah. I, yeah. All right. All right. Jay, what's up, brother? Hey. Uh... I don't know if you heard, but I, I won something yesterday. You did. Yeah, we know. We know. <laughs> I was on that stream. Yeah. I cried after the show at 1 in 30 in the morning. Perfect <sighs> perfect for a show. I, I got the KI uh, from uh, Rasco and uh, Shotgun Sean's show from uh, Bobby. I appreciate that. That was that was totally awesome. I uh, didn't expect it. Uh, first time I've won anything quite that big. So it was really exciting, really to be a part of that was uh, awesome, and I'm really excited to talk about fighters now because I got I'm gonna have one coming in and get uh, get hyped for that. So maybe uh, may I, I did send a I did send Rascal a couple hundred oh, bucks you did? and okay. said uh, you know it needed to come to North Carolina <laughs> North Carolina instead of uh, uh, Michigan. So yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gallica guy, what's up, buddy? Oh, well, nothing much. Uh, having a good time here. Glad to see Moat here. Ready to talk about fighters. I've been having a great week so far, even though I lost so many times last night <laughs> on that stream. But it still was a good time. I was like, "Come you, on, yeah." You one, know, you, one time it you was like not... my name. It was my name, and then the winner. And I was like, oh. "Yeah, this is well, good time, you know, was I was watching time. as I was watching as Arcade Anonymous, and then I was also watching like when I came on the stream, I, I had Nerd Lounge Master pulled up, so. It was, you know, I didn't enter like double or anything like that. I wasn't yeah. like sure. jabbing or anything. Sure. I wasn't. I wasn't. I promise <laughs> you. Scout's honor. I did not. But I, I digress. Um, it just was amazing to see like so many of the community. Uh, mm -hmm. Saiyan Spirits won that great uh, box from this Retro year? Lizard. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was it was just an awesome time, and it was glad to see a lot of the great, uh, great community uh, coming together, watching the show, and having a good time. So. Glad everybody got together for it. All right, Joel, is is uh, JoJo ready? I don't see him anywhere. Where is he? I don't know. He was hanging out <laughs> with us backstage for the longest time, and just before we got started, he uh, he disappeared. Ran out. I, um, I had his I don't intro. Know if it was a uh, bathroom emergency or, or what he's got going on. So he, um, I'm sure he'll show back up because he's got quite a bag here. So <laughs> oh lordy, okay, we'll to, Joel, Joel, your hat. I just fire. gotta say, that is amazing. We, we really need to. Uh, did you order that off like the TikTok shop or something that we need to know about? Alibaba, Ali, 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 Ali Express. Express, yeah, AliExpress. 
I even find them on eBay, and they're about twice the price. But I was willing to wait like three weeks and uh -huh. pay like I don't know half the like price, twenty bucks or something. You know, it was something reasonable for a hat, rather than like on eBay where they wanted like fifty or sixty. Yes, sir. Yeah, Rock's boy says he's yeah. sick of everyone hogging all the time. So yeah. JoJo is like a superstar, <laughs> right? Yeah, ah. <laughs> he his own show. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, it, Jason it, says you've got uh, GI uh, hats coming out soon. I hope to see that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jason, shotgun shot in the house great. as well. Love Jason. He was he was on last night when uh, I was on Corner Cage show, and he was <laughs> like spamming the chat with my uh, uh, um, website address and everything. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, every five uh, posts was, hey guys, check out uh, gaming dot com. I was like, you made me chuckle a little bit. Jason's always a good guy helping out and moderating. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, he, he is. He's everywhere. I don't know what he sleeps. Yeah, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know either. I don't think he has a job. He just he just That's moderates it. YouTube for yeah. I guess Everybody so. at the same time. He I see him in the is longer than us, Mo. Are we supposed to be paying him? <laughs> <laughs> He's not. Listen, whatever you do with your money is what you do with your money. I can't control any part of that. That's right. <laughs> he hasn't sent me a W4 yet, so I'm, I'm not sure. He slept once, according to him. So. <laughs> he didn't like it. <laughs> well, um, do you want to, I guess while we're waiting on JoJo to come back, I, I have his intro queued up, ready to go. If he shows back up, hopefully he will. Because, uh, like I said, he's got a big bag, right? That's what you said. Right, yeah. I mean, I could... I... <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same. It's not the same, Joel. Put it down. <laughs> it's, Joel, Joel, it's, it's just not the same, buddy. It's yeah, just exactly. not the same. It's just not the same. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. uh, that wasn't a spoiler either, because he told me what he was planning on showing, and it's not Cards related, so he's got it. He's got it all planned yeah, out now. I think he was planning in case Moat uh, wasn't able to be able to make it. He was going to do it. <laughs> ah, all right. Well, uh, real quick before we got on the show, we heard that our good friend, um, the bad guy Mike Worley, hit a thousand subs. That's dope. So, congratulations, the bad guy Mike Worley. I don't see him in the chat, but if you uh, if you are uh, in the chat, congratulations, dude. Uh, everybody in the chat, congratulate him on Discord. Uh, send him a note for sure. So there, there is, there is the man, the myth, the legend. Let's uh, let's get his thing queued up here and uh, get you started, uh, Jojo. Let's go, let's roll it. Jojo shows a toy or two. Jojo shows a toy or two. Jojo shows a toy or two. Toy or two or three. Maybe six. Okay, probably ten. All right, Jojo, the stage is yours, brother. What's, that's all you, brother. Say hi. Hello. Hey, buddy. What's up, Jojo? Hey, Jo. Jojo. Hi, Leonardo. All right, brother. What are you going to show us tonight, brother? What do you got? What kind of cool toys you got? Leonardo, you get the toy. Oh, Leonardo's going to be, yeah. Uh, he's guest hosting Jojo's Corner. He got Doom Buggy. Oh, Doom Buggy? All right. Doom Buggy. There we go. Oh, it's a Cars Doom Buggy. It looks like from Cars, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a queen car. That king that's bigger than Joel, yep, yep. There's a red queen. All right. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Yep. I, I showed him that while you were gone. Take I thought you were going to show him the, the Transformers and Rescue Bots tonight. Was. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. You, you jumped the gun. There, you, there you jumped the gun. There we All go. All right. The okay. grandma. Transformer. Oh. Whoa. I'm gonna show it when Queen Cars and Transformers. Dum dum. What? Queen. It's a monster truck. Okay. Yeah. Daddy Bill yeah, Why you Queen is a monster truck? I don't he know. monster trucks, and so uh, I made him a monster truck in the shop. Like, yeah, there's a lot of monster <laughs> trucks in my room. Yeah. Do you make all of them? You, you, not all of them. Yeah. I think you should bring them all down next week from his room and show us next week. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a Hot Wheels themed room. Yeah. Oh, man. I could see maybe, maybe we should get him live on location one time. Get him up there. 
in the bottom bed. I got two beds. Yeah. yeah. You got, got two beds. Bed that looks like it, a car's up on the hoist, uh, and then a car's underneath of it. There's a lot of cars. <laughs> There's a lot of car stuff. Yeah. They can't see you. You're facing the wrong way. They're looking at the back of your head. <laughs> Here's Jackson Storm. Awesome. He's a bad guy. Oh, he no. Is. He's, he's, just, a, he's not bad. He's just misunderstood. In the third movie, yeah. He's in the third movie. Yeah, he's just but... trying to win some races, man. That's yeah. what he's got to do. Big bubble Nice. Big That's awesome. Nice. Whoa, that is cool. He turned into a mask. Did, you dad, did your dad make that one, too? No, <laughs> now he turns into a mask, so he turns into this bumblebee mask. Oh um, man, one transforms into a bumblebee figure. <laughs> That'll be all over that. Man, this Mac, Mac. before yeah. Mac, the Mac that I showed you before that transforms into a playset. We're having a, a rerun here. Nice, yeah, you showed him, you showed him that there before. You said yeah. that just to give them reminders so that they know. Mm -hmm. In case they forgot. Yeah. Here's oh, there it is. Yeah. The Hudson Hornet. Ah, Hudson mm -hmm. Hornet. Yeah. All right. So now. My Queen's crew chief and all the rest of his friends are were helping Doc hunt him. And here's one of his my Queen's friends in the black. He's a color changer. Okay. That's cool. And so one of these guys changes color. It's oh, fun to play with whoa! Yeah, and the I remember those. They turn into like the regular color, and the hot water they turn into different colors. Here's another mm -hmm. color change for that one. <laughs> All right, let's hey, stick hey, to the cars now. And no more uh, cars because there's like a hundred cars in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jojo. Waves. Cool. Todd's you need to get it. you need yeah. to get daddy to let you see little monsters, okay? Little monsters. You remember that uh, movie, Joel? Yeah. Fred Savage. Oh. Fred Savage. Maybe yeah. a Savage. Ben Savage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, th I think so. I don't know. That one if I did it was a only long, once in a long time ago. A long time. Daddy showed me a picture of when that <laughs> I think Shotgun Sean's gonna end up with that hat. Yeah, I think he is too. <laughs> yeah. This picture of a game just turned into me. He just glitched into me. It's around when Wizard was out. Too. That's at the ah. Uh, that's the. You know, we need Jason to put the link to where that you can get that hat. Where he showed the picture of him. <laughs> He's playing with his beard. <laughs> His picture turned into my yeah. picture. Yeah. Still won't drink picture. apple juice because of that movie. Yeah. Ah. There we go. What's that? All right. Blades. I showed him a, a rescue of bot. Mine. Blades. Yeah, oh, I showed him before a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Girl, so I can't find it. Oh, the hat. Optimus Prime Dinobot. Ooh, awesome. Huh? Now, remember, JoJo, you, you had a discussion with your dad. You're not getting I'll rid of any of these toys, right? We're not getting rid of nothing. Yeah. Oh, that can't. <laughs> Prime. Oh, there he is. That's what my else has turned. No more hogging. All done, right? Nope, not yet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, wear it on the show, I promise. I got Wayne's World. Oh, you yeah, gotta wear the we Wayne's just, World. Why don't we just keep it going with your set. You show that last one, and then we call it a show. We call it a corner. <laughs> we call it the corner. <laughs> the corner is, is, is full. One more thing. There it is. One there. more thing. No. <laughs> All right. Boulder. Thanks, Jojo. So, you have any, what do you got? You got anything else to tell everybody before we uh, conclude your segment here? No. You got any words of wisdom for the people for the week? What'd words of wisdom. Come on. Come on, Jojo. You got it. Come on. Part of the week. What did you do this week? Oh, I was at the 
going to my babysitter's house. Yeah, you're going to your babysitter's house. And, and one of my babysitters had to go to ladies' lunch. Oh, she had to go to ladies' lunch? Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> it like, is that an interesting of a story here? <laughs> oh, Everybody. There is. There's bad guy. Please. Congrats, man. There is our thousand thousand sub uh, guy as well. I'm trying to Google that hat too. I can't find it. The sun oh, he getting bigger and smaller. Solar eclipse. Yeah. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Next time you'll get to see one, maybe is uh, with your own kids. Yeah, but exactly. Oh, well, we had to use special glasses to see it. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Leonardo. When you're watching it with your kids, you won't have to have those special glasses. I'm sure you'll just have to like say, uh, "Upload special retina." Look at Leo. <laughs> look at Daddy, look at this Leo. Really awesome. Good. Thank you, Jojo. All right. You Jojo, rock, buddy. Right. I still got more. On. Not tonight. That's, that's, <laughs> we're gonna save that for next week, kiddo. Yeah, I still got more in the bag. Yeah, you got plenty more. <laughs> Later, Jojo. Go. Oh, Bye, 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 Jojo. Bye, Jojo. <laughs> See you, Jojo. Uh, thanks, Jojo. <laughs> I got some uh, nice legs over here. Look at these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool as that. You look good. You look good. Yeah, Matt's got some too. Yeah, and, those you got, so, and you got those nice big boards there. Or are those implants? Nice big <laughs> boards underneath you there. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, so, Gallica guy, I really think that you and I really need to come up with a new game. I really do. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Well, what kind of game do you think we should come up with? Um, to the death. have to. Yeah. I mean, we're talking yeah, about, about fighters. Me. We're talking about fighters. So you know, I think I think that we need to come up with a carpet fighter game. I really do. Carpet Absolutely. critic, no carpet fighter. Yeah. Oh. I mean, look, <laughs> look at this carpet <laughs> fighter. I'm telling you. Look, look at this. Look how beefy I am in that. <laughs> I mean, look at you. Zangief. I mean, what's this 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 you, you tell I, AI to do something and I look like a like a small krillin yeah. compared to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Napa over there and you're like krillin. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I just get to I do think that's a good way. idea. Wait. Wait, wait, why the disrespect for Krillin? Krillin's the strongest human on the planet. Like, wait a minute. No, 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 I'm just saying I'm small in comparison to, to Galaga guy. I love Krillin. Don't get me wrong. I love Krillin. I'm just saying, why do I have to be the small guy? But then you, you, you tell AI a few other things, and uh, a few other things pop up. So uh, I thought this was kind of interesting, too. Um I mean, for some reason, uh, it was overall day. Why are we murdering the carpet? Like, is that carpet? What is that? That is that is carpet, but I don't understand why the fluids coming out of it. I, I don't Bloody know. If that's, carpet. I guess it's the Valvoline that uh, is our is our sponsor, the the official oil of uh, Arcades Anonymous. But but uh, yeah, and man, your beard in each one of these is like golden man i i don't i don't understand this you know so i think you got the beer right i think you got the yeah, beer right yeah, does. That's a good yeah but i'm telling you like we, we really need to come up with something and and i got one more here let's see uh if i could bring this up was it mugen quick. put that in M mugen or whatever is it Mugen. throw that in there we this one up. you know this one i think is real <laughs> representation you know uh shirtless me with with a full beard there. <laughs> Look at your golden golden ginger yeah, beard yeah. there. Uh, so, uh, that beard so, keeps yeah. growing. Why, do I, why am I in overalls every time? I'm like, why, why do I keep popping up in overalls? I, I, can see you in overalls. I, I don't know either. I don't know either. But yeah. yeah uh, isn't, that, Jason, isn't that an Ohio thing? <laughs> it must oh, be. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It must be. But Super car, <laughs> Carpet course, Fighter yeah. EVO. Uh, I think we exactly. I think we need to come up with this uh, uh, Galaga guy. So, because uh, I'm tired of working, I don't know about you, but if we could come up with this, I think uh, I think we'd be set, right? 
We can find some indie guys that put it on uh, I I arcade or something, you know. Yep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, well, enough enough play. Let's get into the show here. <laughs> I just wanted to show that our good friend uh, Chaotic put that in the uh, the AI for us. We were talking backstage earlier, uh, just joking <laughs> around, and thought that was pretty funny. Uh, the only thing is that it looks remotely as Todd is the hat. Yeah, the uh, the Valvoline hat. And that's, sure. and that's game on Evo right there. Yeah, no doubt. It, it got me to the T. I was like, man, every picture is just yeah. me. That's yeah, just, 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 just you. Yeah. <laughs> this didn't get me very well, but. Yeah. yeah. So, Moat, you've, you've watched our show before. You know, I like to go around the horn and see what everybody's playing and modding. So, uh, what have you been playing lately? What have you been modding anything? So honestly, I have not really had time to play. And even oh. like, I try, I, I try to squeeze it in. You know, um, if the fellas want to play something like Tekken Eight, we play that. Uh, if they want to get on Fightcade and you know maybe play some Street Fighter Third Strike or some Tecmo Super Bowl, like we would do that. Um, modding, I'm just literally just I'm right now working with the one player panel for MVC. Um, ah. I'm I'm working on. I, well, I have to get a power supply. I haven't put the video out yet. I should have put the video out already. But um, I picked up a free cocktail cabinet <laughs> in my Ooh, area. And really? So, so literally, uh, I'm trying to figure out which power supply it needs to be, whether it's Jam or the other one. And so I'm messing with that stuff. I'm working on some other stuff. Um, <laughs> like it's 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 all kinds of stuff that I'm just kind of like find the time, take 20 minutes, work on X Y Z. You know. But um, literally, it's just been more of just enjoying the day, you know, honestly, just enjoying the time and squeezing the game in here or there. Um, and I know this is how I know I haven't really been doing anything because Travis was like, dude, you need to learn how to use this. And I'm like, bro. <laughs> and this is, I'm like, like there, there's so much. It's still in the package. And if Travis sees this, I'm sorry, bro. I totally <laughs> open it. So, yeah, man. But it's just. It's Tra just been, Travis, just we apologize. Up. Arcades Anonymous is apologizing for Moat already. We we nah, took him away from possible time to do this. No, it's it's, it's not your guys' fault. It's just it's just trying to get things lined up and whatever else. Um, some things fell through. For instance, I was supposed to run an extra live stream this this weekend, and now I need to reschedule that. The things of nature. So between like life is between crazy. Chair, yeah, between charitable stuff and other stuff, it's just it's a whirlwind. But it is. It is. Yeah, <laughs> we're just trying to keep up. We're just trying to keep up. Well, I hope MG is being just sarcastic. Mode is like, what am I doing here? Why did I? Why did I get off the stream? And my agents is like totally fired. <laughs> MG, MG, you know, dude, you know me. It's not the case. You know, let, let, I'm glad it's highlighted because then it can't be gone after the stream gets ready to end. <laughs> <laughs> it gets delete some stuff every stream. <laughs> Stock Jack, what have you been playing and modding, my friend? Uh, let's see. I've been playing. Uh, I've been trying to play Frogger because it was a game of the week. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, yes, yeah. yes, it was. I can't get past the third. The third. I can't get past the first level. Yeah, the third <laughs> uh, buses and all that stuff. And um, I've been playing. Um, also, uh, I've been messing around with the T two that you know we we modded up, um, which again was the simplest mod in the world. Um, but um, I'm really doing is I'm starting to look at. <laughs> modding up a whole nother room to move all that stuff over to so oh, really yeah i've got the i've got the carpet picked out and gonna start oh, ripping stuff out most, and, most important part is the carpet most yeah. important part right right <laughs> the guy that is the that is Absolutely. the most important part <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so i started that that process I've, I've i've narrowed it down to what i'm going to do and next thing is is ripping the stuff out and and getting the stuff ordered and then uh wiring the room up and and uh moving stuff over and and adding to it so that that's that's hopefully going to start the process here soon awesome Thanks. awesome all right matt what have you been playing and uh modding i haven't really been modding anything uh I, I played frogger like this weekend and then I'm, I'm working my way through grid legends on my driving sim so yeah that's the gist of just what I've been playing. I haven't got the head of chine that like to, to basically mod anything. Like in our neighborhood, when it's nice outside, the moment you open the garage, like you have like thirty minutes of work and two hours of conversation with the people in your hood. And so yeah, everybody's just super friendly. So yeah, 
Like you try to get work done when the garage is open, but you can't. So yeah. Oh man, I hear you. All right, Gamer Fridge, what have you been playing? Um, and modding. Uh, and we winning. got a little and winning. <laughs> yeah, and winning. Uh, we got a in my in my household. We got a little. Uh, I tried doing the Frogger thing, and like uh, most said, uh, life. I, every time I try to go do something this week, it's been like my whole day's gone. Like family stuff and emergencies pop up, and I, I uh, tried to catch. Uh, I think Galga guy was on on doing a stream with uh, Frogger, and I thought. Hey, uh, I was the only thing I got Frogger on is the um, the uh, Paw Patrol that I hacked. So I was gonna do a stream like that, <laughs> and I was gonna do a stream with a Nintendo thing shut down. But that what was that Monday. My Monday was shot. So uh, we able to get in some Gal or not Galga. Um, what was it? Uh, Dig Dug, Dig Dugs. So uh, my son-in-law, my son, and. Um, me are in a kind of a, like a mini competition and uh, I beat, I got actually, and it's on, I scored too, as uh, I got the high score for dig dug this week. And uh, I couldn't beat Frogger. Couldn't touch Frogger's too hard, man. That, that's, that's just a hard game. Hold so on, I got, hold I got on. that. And then my, oh, come on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That, and then my that, son, the, the, the high score on dig dug. I don't think you got the highest. Score. Oh no, no, no. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I will say. Don't, don't act like you got the high score on Dig Dug. Okay, I got high, I got the high score on my on my own personal. And, oh, okay, okay. Like a guy and uh, yeah. his, his sus score is is still uh number one. Sus. So uh, <laughs> sus score. Sus. And then my son, my son beat my uh um uh, Tapper, uh, Rupert Tapper score. So I let him have it for a minute, and he uh po I posted it up on I score. He's really excited that he uh he beat Dad at. Uh, at Ripper Tapper right now. I let him have it for a minute and stuff until I uh, take another stab at it. So, yeah. And uh, modding wise, um, haven't really had a much. I uh, been doing some um, like computer monitoring, like computer modding or getting my three uh, screens set up. So I got it so I can play some racers now with three screens um, at my computer playing some dirt three and stuff with three, three screens. Uh, that's kind of immersive. Maybe I grab my wheel and I do, I got the rig over there too, but it's something about having three screens and uh, playing around with that. And uh, now I got a Ki coming, and then I got a Simpsons I haven't even opened yet. So uh, there's a lot of projects coming up. So have, have you tried to play some Forza Motorsport or some like F1 with the three yep, screens? Yep, yep. I got it. Yeah. I got it. If if you check my channel, I have a uh, my highest rated video is a steering wheel. Um, uh, uh, I, I go through a bunch of racers and stuff I have on my computer. So now I can do it all three screen. And uh, it's just a there's a, a driver that works for this Xbox wheel that uh, I, I test out on it. So uh, it is kind of immersive. You're sitting there playing it. You if you do the cockpit thing, you really feel like you're you're inside that um, that car. So it's pretty cool. Which wheel do you have? Sorry, my, I'm sorry. I'm asking to be no, I got I got, no. that's got the Logitech and then I got the um, the Thrustmaster. Uh, spider, that yeah. red one that sits yeah. next. If you go in a uh, Walmart, it's the one sitting next to the Xbox. It's like three, yeah, it's like a hundred, hundred some bucks. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. but yep. then your your Logitech's with a G923 versus a G922, right? Yeah, yeah, it's in uh, that sucker that's got all the force yeah, feedback and everything. That sucker's awesome. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm playing got a whole no, no, <laughs> no, it sounds cool. No, we, the more whole, we can stretch out the better. This is MG's favorite portion of the show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when I talk, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MG's just well, let me it. let me talk more about the KI because he said I was going to take half the show about the KI. So the KI, I had never played that cab before, so I'm really excited about it, and I'm glad I won. And so, uh, Galaga guy, uh, tell me about uh, <laughs> tell me about your uh, your your games and nothing. body that you've been doing. <laughs> Uh, this week, uh, as far as games, uh, I've been playing. Uh, I played Frogger. I did a live stream of Frogger because that was our game of the week. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Jack. And, and, uh, <laughs> and um, uh, as far as in the arcade, that's that's about that's about all I got to do this week because I've been uh, so busy. Like everyone said, it's just just the way life's kind of been. As far as um, modding projects, I actually have um, uh, my PC for my Vulex which I'm hoping to get all installed and ready to go um, this weekend. Um, so I'm I'm excited about it. Moat took a look at the specs, and he was like, oh, that'll get you by for now, you know. But later on, you know, you might want to upgrade some things. But it's good. It's good for now. So 
Um, yeah, so that's something that I'm really excited about. So you'll probably see some content on that eventually down the road whenever I get time to, <laughs> to shoot something. <laughs> um, no, you, know, you got to be careful with any information you give Gallagher guy um, as yes. a recommendation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll Both be, like, well, yeah, hold on a minute. Be, be are, you, are you insinuating that he's a faucet? Like, what are, what are we saying here? Like, we talking about like trickle information or are we talking about like a full blown flow? No, if you give him an no, he may uh, misconstrue or uh, accidentally, um, you know, say something wrong and then uh, I have a 30 minute stream about might come after you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a community, the, the, a community member will make a thirty minute stream They'll about come it. After you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you telling this guy, Mo? But anyways, <laughs> check, Mo. All Mo did was give me a thumbs up. That's all he's did. All right, everyone. <laughs> Mo over there on the back alley, twelve seventeen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not worse than the seven oh seven. So, <laughs> oh, but I am so glad that Moda's here. Um, I've been seeing his. Uh, I've been watching more of his live streams. I think is it C Marvel three sixty? Is that the name of the? I forget who exactly it was, but they referred me to you because they're like, oh yeah, like don't you know Moat does these? And I was like, I didn't know Moat did these. And that was like two or three months ago. And I've been kind of watching, and it's so much fun to see those things. If you guys have never checked it out, go check it out. Because I watched uh, some of one today, and you guys just crack me up so much. Uh, so much smack talk you guys do. I, I'm dying every time I watch it. <laughs> yeah, whenever you miss, whenever you miss the face of the voice. Yeah, it's probably over there. Literally, that's right now. That's that's my muse. Just having fun all over there and and doing stuff. Not that there's anything home, but home arcade. But just I'm the type of person that's like, well, if five other people said it. Yeah, you might want to hear my opinion on it, but five other people mm -hmm. said it, so yeah, you know, like like it's gotta be something that's gotta make yeah. my eyes do the do the freaking Roger Rabbit like poke out and be like, all right, cool, let's talk about this, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all right, so much. last but surely, surely not least, but uh, what have you been playing in modding? I know you've been uh, busy in the shop building those uh, those risers. Razor our uh, risers for everybody They're flying out the doors. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got I got nothing interesting to really add to this portion of it. It's been a crazy busy week and um, day job been busy. The side jobs been super busy. Um, so yeah, I guess you know if you want to count building other people's mods and <laughs> them out the door, then. Yeah, I've been doing some of that in the evening, so getting risers and stands sent out. and I haven't even had a chance to play a game since uh, last Wednesday night. It's been pretty busy, so mm -hmm. hopefully Crazy. this weekend uh, we're headed over to my parents, and I'll be taking uh, the ROG ally with me, and uh, I might get a little bit of gameplay in in the evenings. Sweet. Awesome. MG, come on now. Come on yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. MG all around, all around. Well, uh, I've been uh, pretty busy too, just trying to keep up. And uh, I'll tell you, mostly I've just been playing on my handhelds uh, like I've been doing the last couple of weeks because that's really just what I've been having time to do. And uh, just kind of going through, you, you got so many games on those handhelds. It's like you go through them and then you find something new to play and you get involved with that for about 10 or 15 minutes and then you want to find something else. So um, that's mostly what I've been doing. As far as modding, uh, I've got a pile of stuff that I need to do, uh, little things to do to certain arcade one-ups, the storage cade needs to be finished and stuff. So tons of things to do. Hopefully I'll have some content coming out soon because I know I got grilled last night on uh, Rascals about putting out some content. So uh, that's my plan. Hopefully in this next couple of weeks, I'll put out a couple of videos. So, uh, cause I need to get some, uh, some <laughs> videos up on the channel. So, all right guys, no awkward silence tonight. Let's, Let's get go. into oh, no. the meat right, of the uh, thing. All right, Cole, before we start, yes. Right, so based on the conversation, Mo, what would you suggest as like, so your processor GPU and you know, for a, a, a decent build for a fighter for your v -Lix or Chulix? Uh, depends on you. Honestly, everything depends on your budget. It's uh -huh. all about, you know, how much money you have available. So 
if you have 500 bucks, um, I'm going to suggest that you wait until you have at least a thousand. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless, <laughs> uh, unless you, you got more money. <laughs> well, well, no, it's, it's not that. right now. <laughs> okay, because no, 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 it's, it's not that because <laughs> look, listen, look, look a, AMD chips, AMD chips are really good. A Ryzen 7 mm-hmm. will get you, will get you pretty far, you know, but you need to couple that along with. The GPU, you know, your GPU is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting, especially just shove one of these in there and you'll be good. Oh, I, 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 I mean, I, I could run to my couch and go grab mine real quick, but I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, but, yeah. but the Z, but, but the, but the, uh, but the, the chip that's inside of the Z1, you know, it's the, the, the uh, what is it, the four, the one with the four core processors in it, like that's, mm-hmm. that's cool, you know, like that's, mm-hmm. it's good enough to get it done, get it done, you know what I mean, but. If you're talking about like a dedicated PC, and yes, yeah, that's yeah. an option. You you could do that. You could probably put a ROG Ally in there, and mm-hmm. then use it use a deck and hook it up that way. You could do that, but again, depending on the game that you're running, like Street Fighter Six, um, for me on my ROG it runs 1080 60 low, mm-hmm. you know, and so that's kind of a chug, you know. And it's even if you have it on PD, you know, like it's 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 kind of difficult to run, you know, and. It all again, so it all depends on what you're doing. You know, your GPU is going to do a lot of things. Toxin's in the chat right now. I, yeah, Toxin was in the Discord. He haggled with Travis and got a 3070 Ti. No you know, way for, for for his bill. Yeah, listen, oh, wow. listen, yeah. If you're on the Discord, man. Look, all kinds of stuff. I have a literally have a deals and news channel, yeah. literally dedicated for this kind of stuff, man. Awesome. But, but literally, it, it all starts with your CPU and your GPU. A case is pretty cheap to get. You can get a compatible motherboard for pretty cheap. RAM is. Yeah, you know, you can get by with 16. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd take 32 at least because it's 2024 now. But um, you know, and you really don't need RGB, you know, like that's that's just that's yes, gamer riz, you know what I mean? Right. But <laughs> but literally, showed literally, under your desk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just gonna light up. So so literally it's the CPU and the GPU. That's your starting point, you know. And I guess that you really you really start your bill with what is the intention of this PC. Like, is my PC just going to run retro games? Because if it's just going to run retro, you can buy a Raspberry Pi and do that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. you, can, you mm-hmm. buy a 3D yeah. Plus or a 4 and run that. But again, if you want to run your Tekken 8, if you want to play Scott Pilgrim or, you know, Shredder's Revenge, things of that nature, you know, you might want to have a little bit of juice under the hood. You know, just, 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 a, just a tiny bit, you know. And then the question becomes, am I doing it for now? Am I doing it to future proof? There's a, there's so many steps. So when I so when I say like yo, how much when I say how much is your budget, it's not to be disrespectful. It's literally be like, okay, this is the direction that you should go. You know, mm-hmm. you know, not to like, oh well, I've got a thousand dollars. Let me go on Amazon and buy the buy a pre built. You know, like <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, you know, AMD Ryzen uh, four processor. But I prefer NVIDIA graphics cards, although I've heard good things about the new Intel art cards. Mm-hmm. haven't touched one, but I've heard really good things about them. Um, and then, you know, the the RX cards, the AMD cards are not bad. I just personally hate um, Adrenaline. I hate the Adrenaline software that couples with it. So yeah. that's mm. just me. Okay, cool. Thank <clears throat> you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wait, what's what the best the- fighter? What's the best fighter ever? Let's 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 throw it oh, out there. What's wow. the best fighter? Oh man, that's a yeah, that, that's a that's debate a... right there. <laughs> that you're you're gonna get the channel like fired up here. Oh, that's okay. that's what we're here okay. for. Okay, so, so so there's two schools on this. Yep. Is it? I mean, do you, do you say your best fighter is it like your favorite fighter, or do you have to go with the first fighting game? <clears throat> like that's the question because if you go with the first fighting game, then you know what I mean like we wouldn't be here. So no. what's the, so no, not the first person? fighting game? I said, what's the oh, best? No, no. So, oh, oh, I know you said the best, but I'm saying without the first fighting game, we wouldn't even be where we're at right now. Right, 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 right. I mean, but event, Street, okay, eventually, okay. eventually they they Street came Fighter to Two a... hyper fighting. Okay, okay yeah. there you go. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 <laughs> he that, just that, wanted you to say Street Fighter Two because he's wearing a T-shirt. Yeah, That's what it was. I wondered. I wondered. Yeah, yeah, I wonder. No, subliminal there, a little subliminal. <laughs> no, I mean, he could have no, said, I mean, said Mortal Kombat. And I, I could have said more. I could have, I could have said Mortal Kombat too. Yeah, Mortal yeah. Kombat two was in the discussion. You know, <laughs> I could have said Fatal. I could have said Fatal Fury Special. There's, there's a lot mm-hmm. of games. You know, like it's just again, it's it's such a loaded question because yeah, yeah, yeah. then some people will be like, oh well, Smash Brothers is. Do you consider Smash Brothers a no. fighting game? It's, I mean, it's, me and my it's, son go at that all the time. Ooh, I say that is ooh, not a see. real fighting game. Wait, 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 w
can you charge up moves like their EXs? <clears throat> It's you a platform. Get, you ain't get, no, ma- no matter what, that is not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, listen, 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 that's right. Listen, that's right. Look, Drop the mic. I, had, I, I yeah. have this debate no, no, with no, my no. all the time, but but I mean, no, no. like, look, you I can't agree. tell me you're gonna t- compare Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or anything, and then you're gonna give that same person who like dedicates to them, and then give them Smash Bro, and they're gonna have no idea what they're doing. It's a have no player. idea because it's not the same. You, you're not gonna beat somebody up and then their their power go down and they die. No, you gotta like knock them off screen or you got to do some funky thing and they're floating around and it's like i mean i ain't saying that there's a battle it's a battle fighter or a platform fighter platform it's fighter, not a yeah. it's not a traditional like fighter fighter so yeah I, i'm not listen i'm not i'm not gonna defend smash <laughs> brothers because listen i'm not i'm not a, unless we're talking about melee i'm not defending smash brothers as a fighter but but some people we're talking about melee Oh yeah, Melee's goaded. Yeah, no, yeah, Melo's absolutely a fighter. Absolutely <laughs> a fighter. Absolutely. <laughs> nope. Um, that, you that's the thing, because I'm coming up. My son, you, my their generation, and my son, he he wanted, he plays a lot of Smash, and they consider Smash. I know it's part of EV, EVO or whatever. Yeah, it's part of EVO. And, yep. And um, in well, it was. in. Yeah, and so I understand it's it's a competitive um, battle game. I ain't gonna, but it's not a traditional. It's not somebody who who comes through the Street Fighter, the Mortal Kombat's Killer Instincts, Tekken's, and stuff like that. It's it's a different animal. It's a completely different um, tactics, different ways of fighting, and stuff like that. It has similar similar things, but the whole floaty part of it. And the, there, I I sat down and tried to play it. And I'm, I was just like, I just can't get this. It's doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't translate. So to me, it's just, it's not a, it's not a traditional fighter. I mean, I don't say it's not a fun game. I'm not saying they can't, they can't throw it into the fighting genre, but it's not like straight up a fighting game. When you consider a, think of a fighting game. So that was that was not me that said that. So anybody who clips this and this gets out later, yeah, I, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go. Gotta, I'll go. I'll gotta, go all day on that. You're gonna end up <laughs> on some show, Jay. You better watch out. I don't. Just care. like MG say, don't be ridiculous, Jay. Don't be ridiculous, don't be ridiculous Jay. <laughs> I don't care. I'll, I'll fight so, on that one. We'll fight on the fighters. <laughs> <laughs> so Joel, I think you had a good question before the show started that uh I think I think all of us here on the panel would love uh to get Moat's insight on. So do you wanna uh uh rack his brain or pick his brain? Sure. I'm probably the worst person to rack your brain as far as uh fighters go because but I think I probably represent a good the mass majority of the community. I like fighting games Mm -hmm. but i don't play fighting games too much because i'm not i'm not good at them and i i wouldn't mind playing uh them more so i guess my question is is uh i got a few questions i guess so what kind of advice do you have to somebody that's just getting into fighters as far as how do they get in? You know, I read and I, I see people all the time saying, yeah, I just picked up this yoga flame cab or I picked up a um, KI cab. I logged on. I got my butt kicked three times in a row and I never went on since. And that was like six months ago. You know, so there's like you can get destroyed pretty quick. So is there no you know, what kind of advice do you have to get going? And maybe what what is the the best beginner fighter game? I don't care what the best fighter game is what would be the easiest fighter game to get into you know the it's not heavily complicated with tons of move, but it's got enough to start to introduce you into the to give you a little nip right uh i, I think that I, I think that i think that you know we're, we're, we're we'll, we'll talk about arcades this way um yeah first off if you knew and they see you rank online. Yes, the sharks will come in. They will come in, get their rank. They will get their EXP off of you. They will eat like it is two four dollar whoppers or something like that, right? <laughs> you know I mean? um, but I, I think honestly, the Street Fighter series is a great bridge. The Street Fighter, the Street Fighter series, especially the older ones, it'll really ingrain in you your basics. It'll get you, 
your spacing. It'll get you to understand the difference between a jab and a fierce punch. It'll get you to understand like, hey, some movements are charges, some moves are quarter circles, you know, some moves are 360s or 270s, depending if you decide a shortcut. Um, I guess we'll keep it on our we'll keep RK base, RK one up base. Um, I would honestly say Street Fighter 2 or Street Fighter 2 Hyper There's, and pick a character that you enjoy. Um, and this and this go, this logic applies to any kind of fighting game. If you see a game that you like that you're interested in, pick a character that you enjoy because once you pick the character, that'll keep you more engaged. That'll keep you wanting to play a lot more. You know, a lot of people, like you said, they'll go and get destroyed. Dude, listen, I got my first killer instinct cabinet. I got it. Uh, I think I got it a couple weeks in the launch, and there were just some people that were already already high up there. And fun fact, I don't play killer instinct one. I play killer instinct two. And I went on KI1, and I got beat like 12 matches in a row. And I was just like, eh, nuts to this game, bro. Let me go back to my lane. But, <laughs> I mean, so for those for those who are on cabinets, you know what you do? Play local match only. Play local. Play the arcades. Get your movements up. Get your spacing up. You know, understand the fundamentals of your character. If you're playing Guile, understand that he's a charge character. So back two seconds for punch, you know, down two seconds, up kick. You know, understand that kind of stuff. Get the get the little under like even if you got to watch a YouTube video, you know, and, mm -hmm. and get yeah. the little itty bitty combo. Something if you can find one combo that you can do, one three hit combo that you can do on a game like that in the retro sense, you can destroy probably a lot of people. And that's a lot of things that people they get so intimidated because it's a fighting game. And yes, again, there are sharks out there, but that's also part of the process. Iron sharpens iron. So if you're not willing to take the loss. You know, I always say you learn more from a loss than you do a win. Mm -hmm. You know, what's 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 the point of destroying people 100 out of 100 and you've learned nothing? What, to look good? Mm -hmm. I'd rather get beaten 100 times so I can be like, okay, this is what I did wrong. I can get this. I can make this better. I can make that better. It's the same thing if you're, you're playing Blitz or NBA or, you know, if you're racing go-karts or, you know, whatever. It's it's all about learning from it, you know? Um <clears throat> so that's that's probably the best I can tell you. Play offline. Don't go directly into a lobby. And then when you feel comfortable, play some friends. Challenge friends because friends will, you know, that makes it better because a friend will tell you, okay, this okay, is what you're up. doing wrong. Don't do this. You know what yeah, I mean? That's great like, don't idea. Do that. Yeah, because if you don't, if you don't have a community that's there to help you, um, <clears throat> yeah, you're gonna feel frustrated. And then you're gonna be like, Yeah, screw that game. You don't want any parts of that. Mm -hmm. So I'll go back to Dragon Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Slayer is harder than fighting. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That's true. I know. So you're saying uh, there's more to fighting games than just mashing buttons? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, honestly, fighting games are not 90% mental and 10% execution. Literally, because if you go into a match and you're already mentally defeated, then it's it's over. You know, and that doesn't and it doesn't matter if you're playing online or offline. I'm gonna say his name because I don't care. Let's use the garage gamer as an example. Okay. Garage gamer who who did an Instagram stream like a year and a half ago. You know, he was he was so confident he was beating everybody, blah blah blah. So I go in there and beat him. So now he's made his mission every time he sees me in a fighting game to go in there and spam fireballs. And then if he gets one win, I don't hear about it for a week. I hear about it for a whole week. We, 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 we ignore the other, the other W's that have got been gotten, but we do that for a week. But you know what? That's part of it. That's part of the fun. So again, play with play with friends, play with people that you know, play with acquaintances, people that maybe are in like minded like you, like who are in the same mindset that maybe want to get better or maybe are casual. You know, and there's nothing wrong with being casual. You don't have to be a hardcore fighting game player. Like I hate that term. I do. Just be a video game player who just likes fighting games, you know? There you go. Yeah. That, that's literally the best thing I can say. Just go out there and put yourself out there. Just go play. Give it a month or, and a half, two months. So what do you think about the, uh, like, um, what, Street Fighter Six and then, like, Tekken 8, the, having, like, the easy mode where you, you don't really have to learn the combos? What do you think of that for, like, the beginners? Okay. So so that's not true either. <laughs> um, easy mode's been, okay, so easy mode's been in video games for a very long time. Again, we can stick to home arcade stuff. Uh, the Mar the X-Men versus Street Fighter Marvel vs. Capcom cabinets. If you load up Marvel vs. Capcom, there's normal, there's manual, and then there's mm -hmm. auto. You yep. know, uh, There's manual or there's easy mode. Easy mode's been implemented for a while. It's just that it's becoming more mainstream yes, because pe people have become... What's the word I'm looking for? 
I, at first when I saw <laughs> I was going to say lazy, but <laughs> no, 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 no. Just from a fighting game standpoint, yes, it, it becomes more accessible for people to come because at the end, people want to just go and do, they want to do cool stuff. They want to do stuff that looks cool, you know, and that's what keeps them engaged. There's nothing wrong with modern mode in Street Fighter VI because the drawbacks for that is that they take 20% less damage or they deal 20% less damage. I'm sorry. So they have to work, they actually in turn have to work a little bit harder, you know, to, to win that mm-hmm. round, to win that match. So I personally, I don't see a problem with it. If they're enjoying it, they're having fun, by all means, easy mode shouldn't be a dirty word. <laughs> it, it literally shouldn't yeah. be a dirty word. So as you long as the MG? Fun, that's all that matters. You hear the MG? <laughs> I mean, and, 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 if, and, if, and, if, uh, and if you are losing to somebody who's playing on easy mode, like, listen, I run arcade one-up tournaments, and 90s kid plays on easy mode and wrecks people in Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Okay. It's not a dirty word. And if people have a problem with it, I would say get good. That, that, that's literally the best thing I can say. Bam. Thank you, Haffy. Also, hi, Haffy. Because, you know, easy mode is crazy because there's so many people, especially now, you know, with, with accessibility options and accessibility issues, you know, people with handicaps and disabilities where they might be able to only push one or two yep. buttons. You know, so you, need, right, mm-hmm. so you need to be able to have those kind of options so that everyone can play, you know? So I don't I don't see a problem with it. I don't. Yeah, we were. Um, I was actually at, I openly admit I didn't really play Tekken too much, but um, we were over at my uh, 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 in laws' house and he had Tekken Eight, and I'd never touched the game before. So I picked up the controller and we had like our own little tournament that happened with everyone there because everyone could just pick it up and you know the everyone could do a special move and it looked cool <laughs> and it just ended up being fun. And I'm like. You know, if I would have Street Fighter 2 on the screen, <laughs> like I don't think it would have happened just because it's a little bit more complicated. And you can't you can't pick up a controller and you know make something cool happen on the screen. So it kind of draws people in, I think, um, to you know want to play and get better, um, and maybe eventually not use that easy mode. But it it's just so fun. Like everyone, right. um, yeah, it's just great. Yeah, like you weren't sitting there thinking about like, oh well, can I Korean back dash on Tekken Eight? No, you were thinking about bro, I'm going to win this next round if I just lost. You know, like, you think about just yeah. having fun. Yeah, because yeah. People, no. people think about having fun. That's what it's about, having hmm. fun. Yeah, I was going to say, that is that, you know, we're, 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 we're in this age right now of instant gratification. You know, like, everything right. is just handed to you right quick. So, exactly. So just doing easy mode, at least it's getting you, like, the start of it. Like, it's, yeah. You're just yeah. getting in. And, like, I, I'm an easy mode guy. I would be because... I, I really don't play the fighting games, but I want to start somewhere and learn and step on the way up, and, yeah. but not but not get into something and just get clobbered right away and then kind of hit the you know get out of there. Yep. Right. So I think it's it's great <laughs> advice. Yeah, play play what you like. Play easy mode. There is no shame in that. Honestly, mm-hmm. you rather play easy mode than not play at all. That's the best right. thing I can say. Cool. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right. Anybody else yeah. on the panel have a question for Moat? Okay, no awkward silence. No awkward silence. Again, I don't know anything about Street Fighter, but I will say this. I've watched, uh, you know, the back alley uh, a number of times, and I'm telling you you what, that is is so entertaining, Um, especially especially when Moat gets, you know, Moat, you get in there and you're doing your whole, you know, uh, Your whole behind the scenes talking and 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 calling all the punches and everything like that, it's like it's like watching a real you know ten round boxing match. It's great. The commentary, um, yeah, the commentary and everything. I mean, you're you've got a you've got a gift there for that, my man. Well, well thank you again. Like every stream for me is just practice, it, and and it's so it's fun. That's the other side about it. Yeah. So from that side of it, it's fun. Literally, we're hanging out. We're Talking mm-hmm. to some of the people in the chat right now, I saw Haffy and Godly, and I know Roderick's lurking because I'm seeing Discord <laughs> messages go off. Um, <laughs> but like, but like literally, like that's that's part of my team. We literally just sit and we hang out, we we just talk and joke, and and if there's something that really te- really technical that just happened, yeah, I'll take the time and interrupt. I'm like, okay, this is why this this this. Toxin's in the chat. Toxin had a he had a great series Sunday after we got done with the uh, 
Oregon mm-hmm. Trail speed run, and he had a great yeah. series against Advanced Boss. You know, yes, we play Oregon Trail. Don't 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 ask. But <laughs> like, I was like, dang, but, I don't heard that fighting game. But it's it's just you get to you get to witness, it and it's like, oh well, why did this happen? So you explain it, and again, it's fun for us. It's yeah. practice. So then, if I ever get an opportunity to be like, hey, you want to do this, whatever, cool. I have, I'm not rusty and and whatever else. And this, and I I want the fighting games to be digestible to the viewing audience. You know, I think that's the most important thing that is digestible and that people understand at least. Like, even if yeah. you're not playing games, like, oh, I get it. That makes sense. He punched them harder. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that that's what I appreciate when I when I have watched it, and that is, is you, you you do some explanation for a novice like myself. I think it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think about the evolution of like? It being a, like a, having commentators and having almost an event, and it's actually almost a sport now. Um, and when I grew up, we were just sitting there looking at magazines, trying to figure out moves and playing on a Super Nintendo. Absolutely. And we never dreamed that we could actually compete like as as a as a competition, as a sport, or anything like that. And it's as evolved to whatever mm-hmm. it is now. And now people like you can actually like study the game and know almost like basketball commentary or, or boxing like they were saying um how how you view you uh you've seen it grow i mean you've you probably grew up with all this stuff and to see it get this big hey, like like me do, do you ever think it would be this big never never in my wildest dreams did i think that you know fighting games would even be mainstream you know if you would have told me that you know in las vegas they're making evo day i would have been like no, yeah. no way. You know, and, and I'm, when I was a kid, listen, I grew up in the '80s, so you know, Nintendo, all that stuff, right? And it was just like for 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 us, it was like video games were always silly to the point where my I remember my granddaddy was like, "Don't plug that Nintendo up to my TV; you're gonna break it." You know, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, so, man. so so it's just one of things where like you 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 play it and and you see it happen. It's just like we played it for fun, but like you, I, I studied, I read through Game Pro magazines, yep. EGMs, you know, Game Informer when they were like. This thin, and they were actually good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, they were. They and, were. And, 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 and reading the and reading it and looking at the inputs, like so, and you're just like, well, whenever I get the chance to do this, I'm going to try it out. And then if you execute a move that you were looking at, you're like, this is awesome, you know. And it started to bloom. And even when Evo moment happened with uh, Daigo and Justin Wong, it got a little bit of mainstream buzz. And then Marvel's Capcom Two got a little bit more mainstream buzz, but then always kind of quieted down. You know, with the with the with the invention of online like services like YouTube and Justin.tv, which turned into Twitch and things of that nature, it gave people a platform to be able to showcase. And when people are showcasing, you find more and more like minded people. So younger me would have been like, bro, there's no way. Now it's just like it's awesome. And <clears throat> look, look, this is, your commentary isn't something that you just go study. You can't be like, I'm gonna be good at it. No, it's it's you're combining knowledge of the games that you play, things that you do with just real life interactions, you know, honestly. And, and this and this is the honest. This is the honest of God's truth. Right hand to the Lord. If Akuma Rev, if Nick, if he would have never been like he has got put boards on the glass. Bro, the and if he, yes. Yeah. And if he, if he was never like, bro, yo, yo, come on the show. Let's just hang out. And I'm like, all right, cool. And then he went to go get he went to go get some bone broth. And he's like, he's like, bro, go, go. He's like, go ahead, take a shot at it. And it's just me, him, and B Kong, and we're sitting in the stream. And B's not saying, I was like, B, you gonna talk? He's like, he's like, bro, I don't know what to say. So I just started talking, and it's just like, huh, that was actually pretty decent, you know. And, it, <laughs> and then it became, it became more and more and more of, you know, developing. And even now, dude, I am nowhere near, nowhere near any kind of professional. You know, I'm yeah. just somebody who's passionate about what he like, what he sees on the screen, you know? Yes, sir. So, so literally, it's it's not one of these things where it's just like, oh, well, I could do that too. Let's be real. Let's be honest about this. A lot of people couldn't. But if it's something, but if it's something that you know about, mm-hmm. like if you're very, if you're not very knowledgeable about it, if Galaga guy could, could, could stream Galaga and, and, and literally, <laughs> and talk about why somebody, no, 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 it sounds funny, but I'm like, but if you stream Galaga and yeah. talk about why, why somebody decided to get captured by the ship and get the double and get the double ships and shoot whatever, right? Like, explain the tech behind it. Some mm-hmm. people might find that entertaining. And yep. again, you might find other like minded people like that. So it, it's, it's just one of the things where did I ever think we'd be here? No. Am I glad that we're here? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, because it, it allows more people to 
cross that barrier of entry that they may have been afraid to cross. You know, fighting games aren't a dirty word anymore, you know? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Chaotic BPR, which is having a concert tonight. Hope you're enjoying your concert, brother. We missed you. Uh, you know, he's always on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's an honor to have you on AA tonight. Sorry I couldn't be there to ask questions about Back Alley and how to get into your tournament. So, I don't know. Do you want to kind of touch a little bit based on that? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I can, I, can, I can talk about that. Matter of fact, here. Um, so, it depends on which tournament we're talking about. So, we're having tournaments on Sundays. Or Saturdays, any tournament on the weekend, anybody's free to sign up as long as you have the means to do it. Whether it's an arcade one-up tournament, whether it's something that we're doing on Fightcade, or you know, as long as you have access to it. And I told Gallagher this in private. I'm like, dude, you can sign up. Like, there's nothing. Monday nights now. Monday nights are different. Monday nights I'm running a league right now. We're currently in season two, and oh, we're going to determine the champions. Oh, so, oh. so that's where oh, a lot of that, that stuff go. That's where a lot of that stuff comes from. All right. Um, but you know, but those those are people again. It's like a league, you know, and uh, things that nature. Season two is almost over with, but like you know, season three is coming on, and you know, people can get in that. But if there's a tournament, it's on the weekend. Again, it's there to have fun. It's there for people to have fun. And again, we don't just I don't just run fighting game tournaments. I love. I love fighting games, but I play all kinds of stuff, you know. So we just had a Need for Speed tournament, heat tournament, a couple weeks ago. Ooh, we did uh, awesome. <laughs> we we do we do all kinds of stuff over there. So literally, all you legitimately have to do is be subscribed to the channel, be subscribed to the cool. channel, and, and be there. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not charging any fees. And if there's tournaments that are worth money, it's coming out of. It's thankfully the channel is making money now. So that money, every <laughs> dime that's going from the channel, you know what I mean. Like, and again, my team's here, so they can they can confess to this. Um, literally goes back to the channel. It goes to prize pools, whatever else, whether it be awesome. buy merch or whatever else, it all goes in the channel. So no, just show up, play the games, sign up. That's all, you know, that's, that's pretty much, uh, all it is. I mean, we ran third strike on fight Kate a couple weeks ago. Um, you name it, we do it. I, I didn't put the I didn't put the link up yet, but on the twenty first we're running Donkey Kong Arcade uh, <laughs> on the twenty first of the sport tour <laughs> as a tournament. So cool. Again, it's it's all it's all just fun. Huh? MG, wow. if you suck, I, if you feel like you suck, you can still play. Yes, because you can't be any worse than corner cake. <laughs> 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 well, I, I, I got a question. Um, okay. I, Go ahead. So, uh, in uh, kind of in spirit of you know some of the, most of the conversations we have here on this show, what uh, maybe we can go around the horn, but you know, starting with Moat, what is your earliest memory experience of uh, a fighting game? Like what was what introduced you to <clears throat> fighting games? What when, when did you first see your first and play your first fighting game? Where were you? Oh, where I, was it? I, I remember. I remember this vividly. Um, it's just like when I ran in my first arcade. My first fighting game. I remember. Um, and I don't think it's open anymore because I don't live in Milwaukee anymore. But in Milwaukee, uh, there was this place off of Seventy Six and Good Hope, right across the street from Chuck E. Cheese, called um, Budget Cinemas. And I remember we went to go see Toy Story, Toy Story One. Yes, I'm that old chat. Um, <laughs> and so oh, yeah. I went to the so, so so I went to the bathroom, and I had a dollar in my pocket. You know, I was just supposed to go to the bathroom, and my mom was like, "You're not playing any fighting games." So you know, as kids, you know, we 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 kind of do the stuff we're not supposed to do, and, <laughs> and if we get in trouble, cool, we'll we'll get caught and deal with ramifications. Um, I go Bad in this room. Always happen. Always listen mm -hmm. to your moms and dads. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 I go in. So I go in this arcade room, and literally, I remember the exact lineup in the, in a row. It was Turtles. It was X Men. There was a Robotron cabinet there. There was Mortal Kombat one, and there was Street Fighter two, tucked Ooh. in the corner, literally tucked in the corner. And I remember looking at Mortal Kombat. And I had a thought in my head. I was like, if my mom catches me, I'm screwed. <laughs> but, if, but, if I'm playing, but if I'm playing Street Fighter, maybe not. Because yeah. I had friends at school talking about it. Remember my friend Mike Green was like, oh, Street Fighter's great. And I'm like, huh. And I'm there. So I put my quarter in. Actually, I think it was 50 cents at that point in time. But it might have been a quarter. No, it was a movie theater. It was 50 cents. Definitely 50 cents. It was like $2 kind of candy. Yeah. I put it in. I picked Guile. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm and I'm I'm trying I'm holding back and I'm, I'm trying to go forward. And I keep getting punched in the face, and then I hold back and then I realize I can block and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like oh. So then I try to so after holding back I try to move forward and I punched and it threw a sonic boom. Uh -huh. 
and it connected, and I was instantly like, oh, oh and <laughs> gee, this is amazing. And of course, my mom caught me because of course I was gone for like 10 minutes. <laughs> you, mean, too long. You, got greedy. you got greedy. Yeah. Too long. Yeah, but 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 I mean, I mean, I got to watch I got to watch Toy Story on VHS later. It was fine. But uh-huh. the cool thing, but the cool thing about that is that that Christmas, you know, we it was a year. Um actually it was 93 because that's when I got my Genesis. I got a Genesis for finishing fifth grade. And I remember that Christmas. I got a copy of Street Fighter II Championship Edition or Champion Edition for the Sega Genesis. You know, the one that had that in Turbo on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I literally spent like two months straight learning how to play that game. Street Fighter, that 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 moment, Guile versus Blanco on that stage, that was my, that was my wow moment. <laughs> and then I got a copy of Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> so, yeah. And the yeah, rest is history, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anybody else? I was gonna say at uh, uh, nineteen. I think it was in the mid mid nineteen eighty. I think around nineteen eighty four. So going into the we just had this really huge arcade that my buddies and I. I was in my mid twenties. So I'm a lot older than you, Mo. Uh, so uh, just we would, a number. just a number. Yeah, it's just uh, I don't know if this counts, but Punch Out. <laughs> I mean, oh. you know. Just sitting there trying to beat, you know, beat all those guys, and then getting the, the Tyson. Uh, to me, that that was that was the first one I remember ever playing. But then I do remember, you know, Mortal Kombat, no things coming, and and the lines to play that stuff was it's just so, uh, was crazy. So so gamer fridge, is Punch Out considered a fighting game? <laughs> yeah, come on, Jay. Hmm. Yeah, Jay, come on. Technically, Jay. No. <laughs> what? Oh, somebody remove somebody remove him off the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It just fits better. He just made MP's <laughs> day. <laughs> <laughs> no, punch out. Listen, punch out is amazing, man. Like literally. Okay. Wait, wait, literally. wait, wait, wait. And let me say, now that um they found that hack for the Super Nintendo where you could do two player, you can play the character. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. There you go. So now you can. But 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 Punch Out's great, man. P- it is great. Fight, I didn't, there's trying nothing trying wrong with the game. I love yeah. Punch Out. I love Punch Out. Look, I mean, you, like, don't, you, you don't know true pain until you get up to Soda Popinski and and Soda Pop's yeah. like your wall. Like you you don't know pain. Exactly. Oh yeah, there's no I pain. Do you, okay, do you like the original Punch Out? Do you like Super Punch Out for Super Nintendo? I like the original Super Punch Out. I, I do just, too. Original. Uh, mm. uh, you have you given it some time though? Have yeah, you, no, it's you, a good no, it's a good game. I just I prefer. Mike Tyson's punch out. And then I'll yeah. deal with Mr. Dream as well. You know, like that's just it's such a good game. It is, man. And again, they both have the same vibe though. I, I I can't, I mean, they're both good. Nah, nah. Listen, listen. Okay, okay. So as an adult now, I feel like I can say this. Um, when we were kids and we were younger playing punch out, we didn't know any better. You know, we we, we didn't know any better in the, the middle of my <laughs> good old 80s, and and you see Piston Honda and you know Don Flamenco and things of that nature. Bro, you play Super Punch Out, and some of the fighters on there, you're just kind of like, wait a minute, that's a little uh. <laughs> so, yeah, um, ignorance is bliss, man. Ignorance yeah. is bliss. Just, just real quick, Doug. I did see your question. I had Eternal Champions. I love Eternal Champions. Larson's awesome, um, and she actually bought my Eternal Champions. But she didn't ever see me watch it. That was a cool thing about my mom. My mom would buy video games and then just give them to me. And then when I know she's at home or something, I'm playing Sonic or Sonic <laughs> or X Men. You ain't pulling people's when, spines out. Yeah, yeah. But when she's gone, when she's gone, yeah. <laughs> there you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 break the Rolls out of the driveway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome, though. Do, do, yeah. do any of you guys are any of you guys old enough to remember all the big controversy about special? Oh like yeah, Mortal Kombat? I grew up with it. Like, like <laughs> you know, the the Senate get involved and all that stuff. Yeah, and you're trying to ban. I remember it was, that. It was, it was crazy. The was Nintendo crazy. blood had to be green, gray. Yeah. I think it was gray. It was sweat. Yeah, it was like supposed to be sweat. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing, but I, I had okay, Mo. You said you went Sega. So when I went to college, everybody had Sega. So I went and bought a Super Nintendo so we could kind of go back and forth. And and uh, uh, everybody was playing Mortal Kombat 1 on the Sega because that was a better version because uh, what Nintendo did. But then um, uh, 2 came out 
and then it, the sound and everything was better on the Super Nintendo. And so everybody, we were going back and forth playing all of them. So I remember Mortal Kombat 2 playing uh, playing that game. And that was just like, I mean, everybody was in my dorm. We The place was packed. We were, we were having contests and stuff. Like you said, we were just uh, couch co-op, like nonstop in the middle of the night playing that game. People wouldn't leave because we, we had that game. So, I mean, great memories on those two. And then, like I said, we had magazines trying to figure out combos and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. And then 3 came out. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I definitely. Uh, I, mean, I mean, there's a console. You would always go to the what, whoever the had the best version of whatever game. You know, you just go over your friend's house and play their version. Yeah, you you definitely have to play the best version. So it was like, you know, do you play Champion Edition or do you play Street Fighter Two Turbo? You know, like do you play MK One on Genesis? Do you play it on on mm-hmm. Super Nintendo? Again, yeah, that was that was definitely a thing. Definitely yeah. a thing. Yeah, whoever had the best version or, or whatever you had was the best. So yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, bro, like don't talk crap about my stuff. No, mine's the best. Yeah, <laughs> I like green blood. <laughs> hey, we took what we could get, man. Your we console can't do the color green. <laughs> you don't have blast processing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, we had a lot of fun with those days. So for for me. I guess a couple things. So I get I I never thought about Punch Out being a fighter. I'm not going to argue whether it is or it isn't. Um, in fact, like, I guess I never <laughs> considered anything back in the day that was playable on the NES as a fighter. Even though now that we mention that Punch Out gets me thinking, well, maybe that could be a fighter. There's also like what Karate Champ and stuff mm-hmm. like that that I had. Yeah. But I didn't really consider those fighters. Uh, my first, like the first thing I think of when I think of fighter is Street Fighter, right? Yeah. That was my, and that's one of my earliest experiences. I had an NES, I had all those other, you know, I had Punch Out, I had Karate uh, Champs and stuff like that. Played them all the time, but. Yeah, my eyes were open when I think it was second or third grade. I went to a kid's birthday party. I still remember, you know, he had a Super Nintendo and he had Street Fighter and everybody was gathered around trying to, you know, fight each other. And that was the first time that I was like, oh, wow, this is that's cool. Yeah, there was two two things I was exposed to that day. Fighters. Street Fighter, and the second was those fizz candies. You remember those hard candies that you'd suck on mm-hmm. inside? Oh yeah, fizzing in your mouth. That was you know we had those too, and it was like zots. Oh, it, was just, it was just a cool day all around. They were called zots. Zots. <laughs> zots. Z-O-T-Z. Oh yeah, zots. Yeah, they were Z O T Z. I think so. They then they called. make warheads that do them now that they fizz. Mm-hmm. I think the first fighter yeah. I ever played was on the Commodore sixty four. It was called World Karate Champion. And it was more like um, point point based, like an actual fighting mm-hmm. tournament. Yeah, um, I remember that. Pro- yeah, and it was uh, it's it was kind of like a modern, closer to a Street Fighter, but it was like watching Karate Kid, you know, point, uh, and then um, it kind of stops and stuff like that. So it wasn't like you're doing special moves or anything like that. And then I say, I think my most memorable, like Mo was saying, you walked in, I walked into a movie theater and I seen Virtual Fighter. Yep. And I went Ooh, up, I didn't know what, but I, I was like, what is this? Because I, I played Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and I was like, what is this? And then I walked up to it, and the feeling you had when you, like, knocked somebody out of the ring, and you did a spin kick, or you pulled off one of those moves, I was jumping up and down. I'm like, I love this game. I was, like, I was, like, into it. I was, I was putting, I think it was, like, 50 cents, like you said. I spent, I think I spent, like, 20 bucks right there just playing that game, trying to get through it and stuff like that. And the fact that... Um, what was it? The Saturn was coming out, and that was going to be able to play that game. I almost bought a Saturn just because of that game. Never did, but oh, oh you're missing out. Get a Japanese Saturn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get a Japanese Saturn. Oh, I can emulate it now. So I mean, oh, yeah, but it, it's it's just it's something different about just holding that controller, or, or if you get the stick, like it's something yeah. different about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not against it. I mean, I, I I've gone back and bought some older systems like that. I mean, I I just went PlayStation and went and Battle Tile Shaolin was uh oh Battle Tile yeah, yeah yeah you go back yeah, and play yeah. that it's not as good but man when we got that game I was just like wow you can knock him off the pit and that was so cool and stuff yeah. like that so 
So even though, yeah, even though Street Fighter on the Super Nintendo was my first exposure to a fighting game and I thought it was cool and exciting, I really didn't get into any fighting game until PlayStation 1, Star Wars Masters of Terracassi. <laughs> Is that the worst one? That, <laughs> and it's, 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 it's good jank. It's good jank. For I, I, Is that considered jank. the worst one? <laughs> Maybe looking back, it might be. At the time, though, that was, uh, to me, that was like it was Star Wars. I love Star Wars and stuff. Yeah. And there wasn't a whole lot of Star Wars like games and stuff at that time. Yeah. Was, was, just, was it Soul Calibur? That and even to this day, that's probably the game, the fighting game that I've been the most into, where I actually was learning each character's moves and wow. you know, how to do combos and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> I just remember he had terrible reviews and didn't touch it. Was it on a PC? What was that on? Was that I had it on PlayStation. Oh, was it PlayStation? I thought it was PlayStation. PC. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what else it was on, but I think Soul Calibur did the, did it right though when they added um, Yoda and uh, uh, Darth Vader and um, Star Killer. Link. Oh, and... you're talking about Soul Calibur. You're talking about Soul Calibur four and five. Yeah. Four, yeah. yeah. Remember that? And they added it. Mm -hmm. I think that was the best version of having Star Wars characters in a fighting game that I can oh, think yeah. of. Unless you can think of a different one, Mo. Star Wars. Soul Calibur four is pretty legit. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say, I'd well, say. Uh, my first my first fighting game steps kind of hinted towards what I was thinking, but um, uh, my first fighting game was Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey. You know, you get people <laughs> mad and you just box each other. <laughs> that was our Did whole you... goal the whole time we played. All right, Mo, you answer that one. Is that a real fighting game? I mean, okay. Does it does it does it have a power bar meter? <laughs> yep. can, do you get knocked out? It's a fighting game. <laughs> Same thing with yeah. Blades of Steel. We just get that out of the way now. Uh, yeah, that's a fighting uh, game. Our rivals, yeah, our rivals. Is that a fighting oh game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but for me, honestly, I remember, and I, it wasn't really an arcade experience. But I was four years old, and my I went over to my cousin's house. who lived across the street, and he had a Sega with Mortal Kombat One. And I didn't know what I was playing. I just was like, oh, look, blood. And that's all I was doing <laughs> the whole time. So that was kind of my first experience um, with fighting games in general. But the the first one that I really got into was Super Smash for the 64. That's right, Jay. Mm. Super Smash Bros. for the 64. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, uh, one game that we did get into on the N64 that I thought was more of a traditional fighting game uh, do you guys ever or ever heard of what's called Fighter's Destiny for the N64? There was a one and two on there. And that was kind of more of like, a, it almost is like a Soul Calibur type uh, type of game. Um, but yeah, I got into that. And then um, Xbox, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I think was on there. We got into that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is probably the most memorable because that's whenever we had, you know, cousins coming over and stuff and everyone would fight you know just on the on the xbox itself but um but that's probably for me uh kind of where i started with with different things with it so a little bit different path because we didn't go to too many arcades or my mom had uh six kids so we were uh we we didn't really go out too much <laughs> So that. you bought the system, and it was at home, and that's uh, that's what you did. If you, and you went over to other people's houses that had them, <laughs> like, like you didn't uh, spend quarters uh, at an arcade very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Mo, um, the mm -hmm. ultimate machine that was for fighting games was the Neo Geo. Back in the day, did you actually know anybody with a Neo Geo? The Neo Geo was was the console that you saw people who lived in like. Well, in like the really sedity areas that own Neo Geo, mm -hmm. dude, no, no, bro, no, 254 cartridge, no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, listen, 254 I... cartridge or 250 for two consoles. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I knew no, one I... kid, one kid who bought one and he lived in the hood, <laughs> went to his house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, I seen, uh, was it Samurai Showdown in a 7 Eleven? It was in a 7 Eleven that had a, mm -hmm. uh, and I was like, what is this game? And he's like, I got that system. I'm like, are you serious? He saved up all his money and he bought, I think he had one game. He had 
Samurai wow. Well, yeah, they, they, they had they two were controllers. Expensive. The controllers were like a hundred bucks a piece, and he had two yeah. of those. And I went over and played it. I spent like a whole day and all night, and I was in the hood playing playing this Neo Geo. I was like, holy crap, man, this thing's awesome. We spent like all day playing that thing. He was like the well, only got- kid I knew. The only to this day is the only person I ever knew that had one. Yeah. You gotta remember those were literally arcade like consoles. They were yeah, arcade, it was an actual machine, like legit machines. Yeah, so those cartridges <laughs> yeah. you can take them out and literally go plug them into a, a big red or something. So, yeah, <laughs> no, I didn't know anybody who had those. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anybody today who has one? Yeah, actually, a couple people have them now. So, I mean, it's not that rare because when you're younger, you just kind of you're starry eyed. But now, as adults who have like their own passive income and whatever mm-hmm. else, you just kind of yeah. like, yeah, we could go get this. I don't know. I guess I find myself doing all that and getting all the stuff that I wish I had when I was younger. I, I find myself doing that a lot. Yeah. Since my TV stand. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the whole point of the show. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Michael Waltrades. I have a problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> when, when's the, la- when's the last time help. you bought anything? Okay. Because I, I literally bought something yesterday. So <laughs> I won something yesterday. You just can't let it go, Jay, can you? Just can't let it go. No, Matt, did you share? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, it's Matt's turn. Sorry. My, I would say my first, like, like true love of, of fighting games is Killer Instinct because it was, like, as a child, it was the first one I could beat with my own money. It was at the gas station down the street from us. And so we'd walk there and then grab a snack and then we would play it and then I could get all the way to the end and, and beat KI. And so, and I used to have it here at the house, but then when two grown-ups tried to play on a... Like uh, arcade one up, it's just too squishy based on people of my size for my family. So it had to go. It breaks my heart, but I love that game. But yeah, it's just too small. But yeah, that's my story. Well, you, Todd. You know, I I remember when when did Tekken come out? When did Tekken come? It was mid nineties, wasn't it? Which yeah. uh, Tekken Tekken three early. Tekken. Early second 90s. one, two, or three. Yeah, I think yeah, it was like 94, yeah. 95. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I just moved, one had all of them. One, two, yeah, two, three. I, I had moved to North Carolina and you know, we were new to we were new to North Carolina and uh, <laughs> um, yeah, new bowling alley and uh, walked in there and saw Tekken three and was like enamored by the fact that it was there because uh, I'd never seen it before, never said. You know, I grew up in West Texas where, you know, a little town with a little tiny arcade with nothing in it uh, except the classics. And you walk in and here's Tekken 3 and you're like, what is this? And uh, I remember just thinking, man, this is awesome. And probably spending most of my money on that machine that that day uh, and just trying to figure out the basics and trying to get into it. And then eventually, obviously, getting it in console later on and 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 continuing the series so um that's what i remember just the just tekken was the one that just came out street fighter i don't remember having any memories of street fighter or mortal kombat but tekken's kind of where i started and then i really you know got the love for uh king of fighters you know going and seeing those in some of the other arcades as well so Mm -hmm. um not a glamorous story, but I mean, it's you know, uh, Tekken was Tekken was my first love, I guess, is what yeah. I. So. Yeah, Tek- yeah, Tekken's wonderful. I said this backstage, right? There's a character in Tekken Three. His name is Walrong, and it's the blue kata form for Taekwondo, and like he does that given kata on the like on the loop on and the it's, intro. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So, like I learned that kata as a child, so it's dope to see that. Like, like it just tugs at your heartstrings. So yeah. yeah. It's cool. yeah. And I think what Tekken, I think PlayStation Two, because I that was the, like the first console that I ever bought with my own money, aside from my Virtual Boy. But we won't go into that because that's a whole other tangent that you guys don't like to talk about. But uh, <laughs> the Virtual Boy, <laughs> yeah, the Virtual Boy. But um, uh, that was the first console that I remember, and I would you know anything that was in Tekken, I bought it. You know, it didn't matter what mm-hmm. it was. Yes, sir. so. Tekken Five on the PS2 still holds up to this day. I can I could go back to that game all the time. That that game is so polished, and so yeah. pr- and it's it is still pretty. I mean, yeah, um, M- Mardok is that the first time he showed up? Uh, he um, showed up in Tekken Four the first time. Yeah, yeah. that's the first I time I didn't play. Him, him and Christy and somebody. Yeah, I kind of skipped four. I, I got five, and it, I didn't feel the need to go back. And I was like, dang, this game is fun. 
I mean, you could smash the ground. You could do, and he was just like such a brute, man. I was just like, but he was quick. So I love, I love playing that one. Did you play that yeah. one, Todd? Did you play five? Uh, yeah, five is in my collection. So yeah, yeah. I think Tekken, yeah. like what Joel was asking, what for games that kind of match you up. I think the uh, it kind of matches you up pretty good in Tekken, like if, if your skill level. And if you mm-hmm, yeah. if you're not doing too good, it kind of drops you back down. I feel so that that's a good one to kind of just run through, and kind of get a feel for if you want a good fighting game, just to kind of get a feel yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know what it is about Tekken. It just it, it's always just been very appealing. Um, I don't know. It's something about it, and and maybe you guys mm-hmm. see something that I don't, but it just always draws me. I always draw to Tekken. Mm-hmm. No, Te- Tekken's very approachable. It's four buttons, you know. Um, yeah. Even even if you play the, the the current version, you can literally just use the same four face buttons and and do a lot of things that you need to do. So Tekken's a good it's a good entry point, a good starting point for a lot of people. Yeah. Like you yeah. guys talk about Tekken Five, it's one of the best fighting games of all time. And when we were younger, that was the rotation: Tekken Five on PlayStation, Halo Two on Xbox. <laughs> literally, that's what we that's what we were yeah. doing. So. Yeah, no, Tekken's a great game to actually get in, and that's probably a game that I probably would suggest that people start off with, especially Tekken 8, because they teach you how to play the game. Legitimately, yeah. they teach you how to play the game if you do the arcade quest. Literally every fundamental, every thing they show you. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So, oh, yeah, that so, little... Go ahead. Did, did I blow it by not... I, I had an opportunity to buy it at Tekken. Uh, at, there was an auction, uh, local... Uh, store was going out of business, and they had a Tekken three, and it, it went for, it went for three seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I blew it by your look. Three seventy five for a Tekken. You, you blew three. it. Yeah, I you guess blew, I blew it. it. Okay, you I blew it. Saw, I saw his reaction. Okay. Yeah, blow it. <laughs> That's a big oh, cab too, though. That's a big cab. Yeah, it was big. It was it was a pretty big cab. <laughs> wow, three seventy five. Wow, three seventy five. Um, yeah. You all right? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't my area. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it wasn't my loss, man. It wasn't my. Yeah. Loss. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Well, guys, we've been talking for over an hour and a half. Uh, you guys want any other comments? Anything else you guys want to talk about, real quick? All right, one topic, real fast. Sure, sure. All right, so we discussed, like you know, like basically the comp- Basically, we have comparison between arcade versus like traditional console. Like, is there a console version of a fighter that you prefer over the arcade? Yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Dreamcast, without question. Okay. It's, li- it's literally the best version of that game ever made. So, yeah, without question, that's that's the one. That's literally the one. What about the PS2 version? The PS2 oh, was the worst shit. version. <laughs> no, I, just, Capcom 2. I was wondering why it was so expensive, because that, I mean, that mm-hmm. one's like, people are trying to sell that for like 200 bucks, and... Well, all the more, all, all the MVC twos they sell for about anywhere from one hundred and fifty to four hundred, depending on the condition and things, or whatever else. But the PS two version of Marvel vs. Capcom two is the absolute worst version of that game. And people pay the most for it for some reason. <laughs> yep, because people are silly. And then they like I, I don't understand. Like I get it, you know, if it's part of your childhood and or you know what I'm saying coming up, I get it. You know, you want to have that to be part of the collection. Maybe it's a game that you didn't get a chance to get, or maybe you got rid of, or something like that. But no, it's not the best. It's known worldwide as the worst. Absolutely the worst. Worldwide. But the Dreamcast, yeah, but the Dreamcast is the best version because the Dreamcast was essentially, you know, you guys, we were talking about the Neo Geo earlier. The Dreamcast mm-hmm. is essentially an arcade console. Yes, sir. Literally, like yeah, all the a- all the arcade ports, you know, went to the yeah. Dreamcast. And so all the fighting games on there were really good. Cool. Mm. Awesome. All right. Well, we got a couple of things we want to we want to uh, do before we uh, end the show tonight. Uh, I did put a poll in the uh, in the chat uh, what you wanted to our next uh, game of the week will be, and uh, the fans have voted. It is going to be Donkey Kong this week. So Donkey Kong is the game of the week. So uh, uh, put in your um, scores into the Arcades Anonymous iScore. 
and uh, whoever is the top champion will get a uh, Arcades Anonymous T-shirt uh, sent to them. So uh, post those scores. Uh, can't wait to see um, who uh, who is going to be putting that top score into Donkey Kong. Uh, and uh, we have a giveaway this uh, evening. I thought this would be pretty cool to do. Yeah. Uh, so let me share this real quick. Try to get this up here. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on, while he does that, is there any score chasing game that you really like? Hmm, that's that's a that's a that's that's a really good question. Hmm. See, there, there's there's that I like. There's tons of them. Am I good at any of them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good at fighting games. Trash at score challenges. Um. <laughs> no, I, I I do. I I love Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's absolutely great um I, I mean it depends i guess you know we used to when we were younger we would we would challenge ourselves to play like things like contra and ninja Gaiden and mm -hmm. things like that right, for, for yeah. sport challenges so it all depends on you know you know but those quarters were valuable when you went to the arcade uh <laughs> <laughs> so i mean it, it all depends it all depends oh look at that the stadium bundle hey yeah we're gonna be giving this uh, away we've got a code uh to give away so let me uh, get my tools set up. Um, Chat, right that here. is an absolutely wonderful game. It is. If you guys don't want to buy like a buy one of these arcade one ups or do emulation, literally for that price, you can play anything from Puzzle Fighter to Super Street Fighter Two Turbo. I'm mm. saying all this because I own it. I'm just letting y'all know. You know, it's, <laughs> it's really good to get in the door. Really good to get in the door. Cool. Not chilling. Yeah. yeah, it's an awesome. Uh, here, come on, do what I want you to do. Nothing ever works the way you want it to. That's that's streaming. Awesome, that Jason. Is stream thank you. Thank you for sharing the link. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Toxin said for his Donkey Kong score, he's going to submit his Billy Mitchell main TA score. So <laughs> we got that going. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm I'm the last ninety days, Toxin has been something completely different. Y'all listen. Y'all might not see him put out a bunch of videos. But I'm reading the stuff he's posted in the Discord. Toxin has been, he's been full of bravado and pride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything talking. else, Toxin, 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 Toxin has been kind of extra. Kind of cool. extra. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to put in the chat uh, Capcom, and uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll run this for a few minutes while we talk, and uh, whoever wins this uh, will send you that code so you can uh, add this to your Xbox. Cool. Awesome, awesome. So put that in there, and uh, we'll do that giveaway. But I did want to say to to Mo that I do have one problem with your stream that I had to talk to you about. Uh oh, is that I usually watch these streams while I'm at work or doing my job, and you're so entertaining that I can't focus on what I'm supposed to work on. <laughs> like, I am. Uh, so I've never so been in tears over Mario Kart. <laughs> So, so listen, y'all. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know, but there's this thing called like, there's this thing called replay, right? And if you watch the replay, you can watch. The yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not watching yeah, your bed. Okay, you okay, 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 okay. So, so check it out. So I hear this. I actually get this a lot. You know, it's funny. Um, Golly's in the chat. He was like, he's like, man, like I ran across him, and he's like, bro, I ended up watching your stream at work. And everybody stopped working to watch the stream. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like that's. I'm like, that's never the intention, you know. Like literally, Monday nights are literally so people could just blow off some steam from the weekend, or you know, mm -hmm. from the work weekend, just have fun. Again, it's it's literally it's just all about fun, man. The, the back alley Seven Eleven community, dude. The people we have over from all from all walks of life, man. It's for like just how like you guys over here in Arcade Anonymous are building like a community. Full of individuals do like literally that's what we're doing over there man it's i know we get i get it's the fighting game thing whatever but honestly it's just we just do so much random stuff we do stuff community last year we raised like twenty five hundred dollars for awesome. uh because i saw roger mentioned extra life roger i couldn't answer your question because i don't know when we're going to do the extra life stream for those uh -huh. who might not know why he asked this weekend we were supposed to do john d versus corner cave um yeah Ooh. and i didn't and uh -huh. i didn't yeah. Um, yeah. Stuff happened, so we're gonna we're gonna reschedule all that or whatever else. But you know, I do a lot of stuff that's a lot of people aren't doing. You know, I'll, again, I run charity streams. I'll 
put stuff on the computer. I'm probably the ninja in the shadows that probably does and gives people all kinds of stuff and never asks for anything in return. Because for me, it's about the community. And if your community is not having fun, then what are we doing? You know? Yes, sir. So, so, when, so, so it's not like when I'm sitting there laughing at somebody or I'm cracking or we're cracking jokes or whatever, you know, it's, that's not, that's not stage or fake. That's all genuine, you know? Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it's hard to find a group or, or a channel that are people are just doing stuff that are, they're passionate and genuinely just happy about. You know, yes, so, for me, so for me, that's what it is. So Gallagher guy, get the well, I, what, what, I, I hate the phrase "suck it up, Buttercup," but you're gonna have to do that, man. You have to, <laughs> you have to hold that. Put some Suck in, it up. You're gonna have some fun. You know, you know, mute the stream and just, you know, what I'm saying, put on closed captions and you can read it. That, that's that's yeah, what you're gonna have to do. You know what I mean, that, I was literally. Got. I think you were playing uh, Mario Kart, and I, you guys were just, I don't know what all was said, but I was in tears laughing so hard because you guys just, do you guys have like, I was like, do they, do they write this stuff down beforehand to say things? Because there's, there's one zingers that you guys do all the time. They just kill me. I'm just like, where'd you come up with that? Like, it's, 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 it's so, so random. fun. The only thing that's oh. ever planned is the, the only thing that's ever planned is the start time of a stream, and even sometimes we're getting to that three minutes late. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 literally just, but that's the feel. It's the feel of the stream is always to feel like you're just having, you're sitting there with friends, having fun, you know, whatever else, whether you're participating or not, man. You know, sometimes I'll go back and I'll watch the stream and I'll and I'll read the chat, and it's just like, okay, cool people are digging this even when i'm sucking at mario kart because you know uh -huh. it, it, it's mario kart which chat did you know that mario kart 8 deluxe is the most stressful game in the world <laughs> uh, according like no no this is a real study according yeah. to uh to like like literally it's the most stressful game in the world so what can you do in those stressful situations you laugh them off you crack jokes you talk about somebody not being able to you know squeeze through a hole or throw a turtle shell or you know the, the mushroom being taller than some competitors i mean you know like that <laughs> that, that kind of stuff it just, it just yeah. is, but 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 it's but it's it's genuine you know and that's that's the best part of it because if we're not real what are we you know that's yes honestly, it, yeah that's that's the now, real thing. and Suck mt it beats me every time at mario kart when we do our community night so yeah. uh yeah. mg yeah. is like the champion and then uh multi matt here Man, he is like a rock star when it comes to. Hey, I'm getting I don't closer know. to him. Yeah. I get better when Brian. I don't. I don't know what it is, but my daughter, my 14 year old daughter, is like, "What's wrong with you? You can't <laughs> seem to like, you know, figure this out. So you need to work on that." So the only time I, I ever play is with you guys when we do it on Sunday nights. Yeah. yeah. So all right, we've oh. given this a little bit of chance here for sure. this. So uh, uh, Wait, can I get a people enter? Yeah, nine yeah, people yeah, entered, yeah. so this is a good chance. Man, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. If that's the case, I'm gonna go ahead and type my name, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah. And if I win it, right. and if I win it, I'm gonna <laughs> give it away. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I thought it was a joke number. Seriously, it's ten. Holy crap! No, it's yeah, ten. It's ten. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You got one. Right. Right. Think yeah. of a channel, Moat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good job, good job, my friend. All right, drum roll, please. Anybody want to do the drum roll? Okay, there you go. Here we go. All right. Good luck, everybody. Let's see who's gonna win this. Who is going to win? I better it? not win. I better not win. I better not win. The chances are pretty good. Y'all better, better not let me. Oh, no! <laughs> rigged. Rigged. The whole thing was rigged. That's oh. 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 Planned it better. Rigged. Could not. <laughs> <laughs> Could not have planned that better. Really, chat? Y'all let me come in here in the last hour. The last hour. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I guess I'm giving that code away in uh, somewhere. <laughs> uh, I can I can hear it. I can hear it now. Later on, like y'all, he played it so off so well. Like I'll just go ahead and put my name in here, guys. Hashtag, like, yo, hashtag, yeah, yeah, yeah. hashtag <laughs> rig in the chat. Oh, hashtag okay. rig in the chat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wow! Well, this well, is right, a week of all trades. Yes. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I know about. I know about. <laughs> <laughs> you really, Jason? Really? <laughs> really? Oh my god! I almost said that. I almost said that too, but oh I didn't want to start the. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It is for a city. <laughs> it would have looked. It would have looked real fishy if Moat would have won, but luckily yeah, Mike of all yeah. trades won. Exactly. Right. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's all right. great. All right, hey, all right then. <laughs> all right then. 
Well, um, all right, congratulations, man. Mo. Congratulations, uh, thanks. buddy. Hey, Chad, I came to win a coast so I can give it away to y'all. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's right. That's Never right. Pass it. Pass it forward. Oh, pay it forward. Pay it forward. Oh, pay it forward. Well, Mo, thank you for joining us tonight, buddy. We really appreciate you. Uh, uh, if you haven't, if anybody in this chat hasn't already subbed to you, they're crazy. But uh, if you haven't subbed to this this man, please do. This man is awesome. He's awesome that he yeah. handed, uh, spent time with us, and uh, we really appreciate you. You're always welcome to come on whenever you want to. Yeah, you need to open door. It, open, open door. door yeah. Whenever you want to. If you have hey, something, hey, you probably won't want to come back. This is one. He won. He wants to get some more stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know, last night, uh, well, we had to gave make us... him win. That was his fee for coming on the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, let me, yeah, let me, let me bring a giveaway. I didn't know nothing about chat. That's me. <laughs> um, yo, Mo, before I go wet or dry, we've had this conversation about wings. We, we've had this conversation, and, and, and we know, I'm, and, we, and we know, I'm a dry rub guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because dry roast can be could, mm-hmm. could be anything from lemon pepper to Cajun to mm-hmm. even ranch. With you know what I mean? Like like a dry wing, like an Asian, yeah, dry, dry. Right. And if and yeah. before you ask MG, before you ask drums or flats, we're gonna say flats because flats. yeah, that, that flats. Just, really yeah. drums are so go. much better. No, flats, flats, mm, no, flats, uh, flats are goaded. I don't know. Yeah, drum, I like drum, flats. Drum, drum, yeah. drum, drums are good, but flats are great, man. Like yeah, I know. I agree with the oh, really? <laughs> yeah yeah the oh, boy. lemon yeah dry rubs first of all they're lower in sh- like the lemon pepper it's like easier on keto and then yeah but uh, yeah that's why I got drum- deal with so the, the drums you guys are better gonna make me go to the refrigerator you see, now he and knows. Give me something to eat I'm getting hungry <laughs> where do you get your wings at <laughs> who me I make I mean make it yourself if you got to go somewhere where do you get them at uh, do we, we chain or like wow well, yeah, yeah chain, go, chain I guess right. we gotta I guess we gotta go chain um. I think Wingstop is overrated. Yeah. So, I'll, so I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll just. I'll say BW3s. Yeah, we'll, we'll say BW. Yeah. yeah but, the, but then, but, but then you have to get the wet lemon pepper or the spicy garlic. You know what I mean? The or spicy garlic is good. Yeah. yeah, gar- yeah garlic it. parmesan. Mm. I got a. Yeah, I try, I okay, okay. My my daughter's addicted <laughs> to garlic parmesan wings, so I'm just kind of like, yeah, let's not. <laughs> yeah. I, when, it comes, when it comes to BW3s, I have the philosophy of get a wing sauce. That you can't find at Walmart or the grocery. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that's that's yeah. the thought process. You know what I mean? It's getting harder to do because they have their own line so, of uh, sauces now. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been buying the yeah the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings uh, sauces now. They're really good. Make my own. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Or you a good a good copycat recipe, but literally throw some of those in the air fryer. And yeah, I'm an air fryer guy. Chat. Listen, yep. we're getting older out here. All right, we're getting older. We yeah. are. Fine. It's just fine. <laughs> you know what I mean, the air fryer is is a is an awesome invention for sure. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's 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 the wave. <laughs> All right, and, and if you haven't we... subbed to any of these guys, uh, make sure you sub. If you're not a uh, Arcades Anonymous uh, sub, please do hit that like and sub for us as well. We're on the road to yeah. 500, and uh, hopefully we can hit that. Uh, pretty soon, so we can give away some more stuff. Cause yeah, we've there's already a lot of stuff. Some, uh, uh, the, donators the tr- are ready for our the, uh, the treasure trove is growing. So we wanna we wanna give that stuff out. So again, thank you for uh, for hanging out with us this evening, and we're looking forward to next week. Uh, don't know what we're gonna do wait, next wait, week, but we'll come we up announce with something. the winner for uh, I scored. Do we announce the winner for that? The man that's sitting uh, below me, Matt. I, I Matt. I mean, what, yeah. Matt okay. is the is the man. All right. So uh, well, let's see if we can get some uh, good yeah. Donkey Kong yeah. uh, players out there this week. So, uh, yeah. So, remember, Arcade's Anonymous, I scored. Um, and yet again, thank you again for watching us. Let's wrap this bad boy up. Check and... out Mode on the back alley, 9-11. Yep, there you go. Are, 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 you, are you intentionally trying to take the uh, degree of Michael B. Genie? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a sound bite. Yeah, it's literally that. a sound bite in my Discord now. Thank you, everybody. Make sure to check out the back alley 707. And I'm just like, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's cool because I took the idea. We made some merch with it. Now there's a side alley 707. <laughs> so, so literally ran a April Fool stream uh, last Monday, and literally we were the side alley. So everything was a big. Anyway, check it out. And hey, can, can I show for like two seconds? Just two yeah, seconds? yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah.
Listen, chat, if you feel like you don't want to subscribe to the channel, that's okay. Go to MichaelWallTrades.live. You can you can be caught up with all the tournaments. You can you can watch any of my content on both channels, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, I have a website. Do I update it often? No, but it's functional, so it's there. You guys can uh, yeah. pop the window open and then just, just watch and lurk. You don't have to worry about being in the stream. You can just you can be there. So, yeah, I yeah. should. That's all I wanted. Yes. All right, you. brother. No, Thank awesome. y'all. Have you. a wonderful night. Going. Enjoy the replay if you're watching on replay, and we will see y'all next week. Later.